All right, g'day guys. Welcome back to another episode of Chuck's Garage. We have another guest here. You guys might know him, but let's go see him. Hello, Mick. How you going, mate? Good, mate. <laughs> Come up the front here. Everyone knows Mick from yeah. <laughs> doing all the work on all my stuff, and I get a few fair few questions about this car, so I thought I'd get Mick in to talk about it and see uh, what we've got here now. No worries. It used to be a bit of a crusty, crusty prem used to call it. Had a different engine set up. <laughs> we've changed a fair few things over the time, haven't we? And um, yeah. But yeah, I'll uh, let him talk you through it. What's the combo as is right now? All right, now it is, it's just an old school Chev block, uh, 385 cube, um, 13 to one compression, AFR heads, uh, it's just a mechanical flat tapper. Um, yeah, it goes all right. Turbo 400, <laughs> um, it's got a 5800 converter, 35 spot, nine inch, four five gears. There you go, <laughs> and uh, it lives here. So our deal is that Mick does a bit of my mechanical stuff and builds my, is building my RB. So um, that's the deal we have. And, um, but before this, it was a single turbo, wasn't it? It was. Well, originally it was a, a 420 cube small block <laughs> out of Motorana. Yeah, that's right. Um, the idea was to build more of a street car. That didn't last long. Ended up putting a Ford 6 litre in it which now lives in your BMW. My BMW, yep. <laughs> and we're back to a small block, so. Yeah, well, let's have a look underneath and um, see how it all looks under there, because it's pretty tidy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just all purpose. Yeah, it is, and he probably nearly drives it more than his, uh, his daily. He's, <laughs> every Sunday, always get the, he's always got it out. Got the young fella in the back, as you see, <laughs> with the uh, baby seat, but tidy car and um, as you'll see later on, it can do a skid too. So, um, no, let's, yeah, it works and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, like I said, this bloke will probably change this in uh, time to come. But yeah. let's have a look inside. But actually, before we do that, you did pretty much all the bodywork by yourself. Um, you? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'd say ninety percent of the bodywork myself. Uh, mate Jason helped me do the body. Then it went off to another place at Pep, Elite Street Cars, which you know. Yeah, he put the colour on and. Yeah, polish it up and see how it came up. It's come up good. Yeah, it did. And then like, that's uh, this is the factory trim. That's factory isn't it? trim. It hasn't been retrimmed. That's what I mean. It's not, you know, it's not perfect in there, but it's it's pretty bloody good though. It's clean enough. Yeah. Uh, um, like I said, it's only gets driven, you know, every weekend without a doubt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I have sat in this and like moved it around the moved it around the the workshop a couple of times, but. And it, oh, I haven't been uh, game enough to take it out in the street, but he always says to, but maybe one day I will when he's here. Cause I don't, cause knowing me, I'll take it out and I'll break <laughs> something and then it'll be, I'll be the worst person ever. <laughs> but it is very comfortable in here. Like I said, he cruises it every weekend. Yeah, no, they're built for, they're yeah. built for comfort. Well, that's it. And, and it's not too over the top that you. No, it's good. Like, you know, flat bonnet. Yeah. Doesn't draw too much attention. It's just a clean. Yeah, clean cruiser, but exactly. Who knows what will happen next? Well, that's it. we we'll, uh, <laughs> He's probably lucky he didn't come to Heathcote with us because it probably would have changed by um, straight after that, so he could go fast. But um, what uh, other plans, mate? I know you, there's always um, a million things going through your head, but we did talk about uh, <laughs> Vortec or something. Yeah, maybe a bit more forced induction. The only thing I've never had myself is a supercharged car, so yeah, maybe something blown. Yeah. <laughs> But not top mount, side mount? Side mount, yeah. yeah. Centrifugal, you know, they make pretty, pretty raw torque. Mount. Yeah. But I think for now, I'm pretty happy with the way the car is. Like, it gets driven everywhere. Hasn't missed a beat. And yeah. I don't know, maybe bigger wheels. Well, yeah. I wouldn't mind tubbing it. Yeah. Car's still untubbed. Yeah. You know, it hasn't been touched under there. It's just 
Mm. Well, what, what, tire, what size tyres are you running there? What it's wheels? Only, uh, well, they're Welder Luma Stars. Yeah. Um, like the OGs, they're pretty, pretty hard to get, and they, they sort of suit the year of the car. Absolutely. I like the Pro Street sort of era. Yeah. Um, it's only a 25560. Can't go any bigger than that. Yeah. And I like the ride height. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, isn't it? I wouldn't mind putting, you know, like a 10 under it with a 295 just to make it look. Well, that's it. Like big meat under these yeah. sort of yeah. things look unreal. Sets them off. Yeah. But, no, nah, it works. But I said, I'm keen to take it to the track and see what it will run, you know. Yeah. Should, it should have a 10 in it. We'll put a 255 ET straight on it. <laughs> It'll work. You know, you can, you can go fast on small tyres. Yeah, it? exactly. Doesn't matter. Did you get a look at the baby seat in the back? <laughs> yeah, it's little Henry. Henry. <laughs> He, uh, he probably loves this car more than you, doesn't he? He does. Every, time, every, you know, every weekend he wakes up, first thing he says, HG. So <laughs> he knows what's up. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's it. We haven't even sort of spoke about it. Like, it's a HG. What year is the HG? Uh, 70, 71. Yeah. Um, yeah, HG Prem. It's a factory, yeah, um, old green car. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I always like the white. Got hooked on as a kid, you know. The, mm. I think the white looks classy with the mouldings and yeah. you know, fresh chrome and stuff. Just, That's it. Yeah, and Mick sort of pieced it all together in here, so I was able to see it sort of all unfold yeah. and it was... Um, the car was assembled here. Yeah, pretty much assembled <laughs> here and spent most of his nights and weekends here and um, little Henry running around as well, so, <laughs> which, was, which was awesome to be able to sort of hang out and see that. So the best thing about having a shed is you can <laughs> do all that sort of stuff here. That's and, right. All right, so like in every episode, when we wrap up, little pack. Mick's already got a couple stickers, but he hasn't had a hat yet, so... Little Henry will love that. Little Henry will love it, and uh, we'll get him get our photo, and then uh, we'll get him to sign the wall. All right, Mick, let's go, mate. Done. Where are you going to go? I'll go a bit higher. A bit higher. Everyone do that on his short. <laughs> All right, now a good bit. Let's do the burnout, yeah. mate. All right, <laughs> see if we do it.